Hi guys, this is Jake with Think Free Live Free. I wanted to share my DC to DC charger settings with you. How I set that up with Bluetooth on my phone. Um, I've showed you in a previous video on how to install that. So I just wanted to share my settings. So I have my van running right now. So I'm gonna switch over and show you my phone and the settings that I have the Victron DC to DC charger set on. And keep in mind, my DC to DC charger is a 12 to 24 volt. So it goes from 12 volt from my starter battery to my house battery. That's a 24 volt system. The first thing is you want to put it on your Bluetooth. So as you can see here, it says Orion Smart Charger. And it's connected to my phone. You're going to go into the app. You do have to enable your GPS. Once you open the program, you can see there it says Orion Smart Charge. So when you click on that, it's gonna open a box. You can see here that it says charge is disabled right now. My battery was really low on my van. It's been sitting for a couple of days without me starting it. My van almost didn't want to start up. So you can see here that my van voltage is currently 13.5, 13.6 and my output voltage is 27.2. I'm gonna have to wait a little while for it to charge over 14 volts. My battery was pretty dead, it's been sitting for a while. But I'm going to show you what I have it set up on. Hopefully that will be easier for you to set your Orion Victron up. So if I go to settings, I currently have mine set up on charger. On the function, you can set it as a power supply or a charger. I have mine set up on charger. The next setting is battery settings. So if I click on that, I currently have mine set up on user defined and charger enabled is selected and the charge voltage is 28.2 for the absorption voltage and float voltage is set at 27.6 and then the bulk time, there's a 10 hour window on that, rebolt voltage offset that's basically just if there's some discrepancies it's set at 0 0.20 volts then the next setting is absorption it's adaptive absorption time automatically cal calculates the absorption time I have that to on and then the maximum absorption time is two hours Your options there is factory default, user defined, select preset, create preset, and edit presets. So you can kind of adjust that to what you want it to charge to. That's why mine is set at user defined. I'm under the engine shutdown detection. Engine shutdown detection enabled. When disabled, the engine is always considered to be running. So make sure to turn that one on, otherwise you're going to kill your battery because it will continue to charge even if the van's off. This is the important setting that I wanted to kind of share with people. It says alternator type and I have mine set up on regular alternator. Your other options are user defined and smart alternator. At first I tried the smart alternator setting and like played around with the voltages and things. However, you have to be careful because if you select one of the other ones and you start setting up your own voltages instead of going with a regular alternator, you may set your voltages too low and then it starts charging your house battery from your alternator and a lot of times your starter battery does not have enough voltage to kind of share it with your house battery if that makes sense so if you use the regular alternator it will not start 
charging your house battery until it hits 14 volts. So the start voltage here is 14 volts. Delayed start voltage is 13.8. So it's gonna it's gonna wait for it to at least get up to 13.8 before it starts charging your battery. Delayed start voltage delay, it's got 120 seconds, so basically two minutes. And then the shutdown voltage is 13.5. So if you if you start your vehicle and your battery's sitting around 13.4, 13.5, it's not gonna start charging your house battery. It's gonna charge up the starter battery first to ensure that your vehicle can start. And then when it has some extra juice, extra voltage in your battery, it will start charging your house battery safely. I think that's that's really important to know that you don't charge your house battery when your starter battery is not completely charged or halfway charged to the point where it can supply your house battery with the needed juice. And then the input voltage lockout, uh, it's currently set at 13.5 volts and 13.8 volts. So if I click on that, Basically what it says, when the input voltage falls below lockout value, the output will be deactivated until the input voltage rises above restart value. So the restart value is 13.8. So basically, it's not gonna start charging your house battery until it reaches 13.8. And for any reason, if it falls below the lockout value of 13.5, it will shut the house battery off. It will stop charging. It's got those parameters. It will continue to charge even if it's like goes down to like 13.6, but it has to reach 13.8 first. So once it reaches 13.8, it will start charging and it will continue to charge even if it drops to 13.7 or 13.6, but it will stop charging at 13.5 volts. It will basically protect protect your starter battery from from being discharged too far. My starter battery was really low so I can't really show you right now but as you can see here the charge is disabled which is a good thing because it's not going to charge my house battery if my starter battery doesn't have enough power. So it's definitely a safer way to go with the regular alternator setting I mean you can play around with it and go user defined if you want to and you can probably get more charge out of the DC to DC charger however you also run the risk of your starting battery getting low so that is the settings for the Orion smart charger the Victron DC to DC charger I just wanted to share those settings with you. I'm sure there's people out there that have gotten one of these Victron DC to DC chargers and they're not 100% sure how they need to set it up. So I hope this video is helpful in that sense to uh, quickly get that set up. Guys, thank you for watching. This is Jake with Think Free Live Free. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you found the content useful. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Take care and have a great week. Bye.